We're going to compare and order numbers. Okay? We're going to compare and order numbers. Now, you will not have homework over this tonight. We'll do part of it today, then finish it up tomorrow, and then you'll have you'll have time probably in class to do a lot of the homework tomorrow. Okay, but we want to talk about comparing numbers, decimal and whole numbers. So we're going to compare decimal numbers and whole numbers. Okay, we're going to compare decimal numbers and whole numbers. All right, so we're in Section 3, Chapter 1. You should have your book out, ready to roll. Okay. Um, let's see, the one I was looking at earlier, yeah, over there. Yeah, let's do this, all right. Um, let's say we have this, point two three, and they want us to compare it to point two two seven. Okay, they want us to compare those two numbers and either put the greater than or less than or equal sign in the blank. Okay, now here's your first step. The first thing that you do, the first thing that you're going to do is this. Step one, let me write it underneath the problem so we have a little bit more room to write. Step one is make sure that both numbers have the same amount of digits. Okay, that's step one. Well, how many digits does the first number have? How many digits does point two three have? Brittany? How many? Two. two. Okay, point two three has two digits. Point two two seven has how many digits? Jacob? Three. Three. Okay. Now, if you were just to look at those two numbers, which one do you think would be bigger? If you're just looking at those two numbers and you're thinking, hmm, if I don't know anything about math, which one's bigger? Okay, obviously you do know things about math, but if we just looked at them, what do you think, Jacob? Give me the numbers. Point two two seven. All right, who would agree with Jacob? Raise your hand. Okay, who would disagree with Jacob? Raise your hand. Who's not for sure? Raise your hand. Okay, at least we got some honest people. Good. Okay. Well, those of you that sided with Jacob, stand up. Come on. Come on. Don't bow to peer pressure. You voted for Jacob, then stand up. All right? All right. Good. At least you admitted it. Unfortunately for y'all, you're wrong. All right? Everybody sit down. Unfortunately for y'all... Y'all picked the wrong horse. You backed the wrong car. Okay? Jacob, that was a good guess because you did exactly what I wanted you to do. You did exactly what I wanted you to do, which is most people, when they look at decimal numbers to compare them, always want to pick the one that has more digits. That is not the case, necessarily. Okay? Okay? Now, that is why step one is step one, and it's so important. Okay? The first thing is to make sure both of the numbers have the same amount of digits. So I'm going to do that. Okay? I'm going to take both those numbers, point two, point two three, and I'm going to add a zero at the end. That does not change the value of the number, but it is an acceptable practice. Okay, then I'm going to take my other number, 0.227. Okay, now, 
if I cover up the decimal here, how much is that? 230. How much is that? Now you would obviously know which one is bigger. Okay? 230 is obviously bigger than 227. Okay? That's why in our original problem you would put the greater than sign in the blank. Because 0.23 is greater than 0.227. Okay? The other thing I want you to look at is, is remember, this is 23 cents. This is 22 cents, or 22 and a half cents. Obviously, 23 cents is more than 22 and a half cents. Okay? It's another way to look at it. But always make sure they have the same amount of digits. Step two would be to line the numbers that you are comparing up vertically. Okay, line the numbers up, that you, line the numbers that you are comparing up vertically. In other words, line them up vertically. Okay, so if I was to do that with 0 0.230 and 0.227, this helps me to be able to compare them. Okay, as I look at the first two, di the first digit on each number, they're the same. Okay, as I look at the second set of second digits on each number, they are not the same. Okay, three is larger than two. So that is why 2.23 is larger than 0.227. Okay? Now, let's look at another one. So those are your basic two steps. Okay, I guess we could say step three. After lining... the numbers up vertically compare each row of digits okay that's what we just did okay alright let's look at another one I'm going to leave that there so you can copy it down Next one I want to look at is this, 8.7 blank, 8.70. Okay, now let's remember real quickly our signs. This is the is less than sign, then we have the is greater than sign. Okay? The less than sign points to the left. Okay? The less than sign points to the left. Okay? Left, less than. Left, 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 less than. I'd say that one five times fast. That's pretty hard to do. All right? So left is less than. Points to the left. All right? Now, so back to our example, 8.7 and 8.70. So what goes in that blank? Somebody raise your hand if you think what you know what goes in that blank. Quaid? Uh, equal to. Equal sign. Okay? Because I said on day two of this class, I said that when you add a zero to an end of a decimal number, it does not change it. Okay, so our first rule is is to take 
and make it have the same amount of digits as 8.70. Okay? So I added that digit right here. Little smiley face. His nose is out of whack. Somebody punched him in the nose and knocked it over to the side of his face. Okay? That would hurt. All right, so obviously both those numbers are the same. So that's why we put the equal sign in there. Okay, what about this one? Um, 43 Which one do we put the less than, the greater than, or the equal sign in that blank? Am I boring you, Jacob? Okay. You were just yawning in my class. Thought maybe uh, you might fall asleep there. Then I have to drop Quaid on top of your head or something and wake you up. For those of you listening online, I'm just joking. Yeah. Keep forgetting I got this headset on. Oh. Nikki, what'd you get? What do you think? Greater than sign. That is correct. The greater than sign goes in there. Okay? A lot of times in this in this lesson, they'll just switch digits on you trying to fool you. And, and you look at it real quick and you go, oh, it's the same. No, it's not the same. You got to be look careful. Okay? It's the first thing is look careful. All right, now, um, yeah, I knew that was in there. Okay, everybody look at number 18. Look at number 18. Now we're going to talk about well, putting numbers. In least to greatest order. Putting numbers in least to greatest order. Uh, Nikki, give me the first number listed on number 18. Don't put them in order, just give me how they're listed there. 97.5. Judah, give me the next one. Nine point seven two five. Seventy five. Isaiah, give me the next one. Nine point zero seven five. Okay, is there another one? Cameron, give me the next one. The last one, I think. Number four. On eighteen. The fourth number. Nine zero point seven five. Nine zero. Point. Ninety point seven. Okay. All right. Finally got there. All right. Now, what they've done here is they've used a lot of nines, a lot of sevens, and a lot of fives, and they're going to try to confuse you. Okay. First things first. Make sure they all have the same amount of digits. So. I'm going to have to add a zero there. Two zeros there, actually. I'm going to have to add a zero there. And a two zeros there. Okay? Now I'm going to stack them vertically. So I'm going to go 97.500. Zero, zero. Then I'm going to put 9.750. Then I'm going to put 9.075, then I'm going to put 9, oh, oops, got that decimal out of place. Make sure you line those decimals up. All right, so there they're lined up. Okay, remember our original numbers are up there in black. Okay, now it's very obvious at least it should be, that this number and this number are the two largest numbers. 
okay? Because if I look at my first digit, those are the only two that sit out here outside the other digits, okay? So as I look at my other, my next digit on those two numbers, you have a 7 and a 0, which is larger. 7. So I'm going to put 97.5 right there. That's my largest number. My next largest number is, the original number was 90.7. No. Yeah, I missed, I missed that. has got too many zeros. Hang on, let me erase one of those zeros there. That's supposed to be a 7. 90.7. I'm still having trouble with that number. So what comes next then is 90.7. So these two numbers are done. I've already used those two numbers. Now we go to the next two numbers. Well, I have a 9 and a 9. So right here, I have a 9 and a 9. Okay? So the next one then, I go into the next digits right here, and I have a 7 and 0. Well, which is larger, a 7 or a 0? 7. So therefore, that's going to give me 9.75 is my next largest number. And then my last number, which is the smallest, is 9.075. Okay, once again, think of it in money terms. $9.07, $9.75, $90.70, $97.50, okay? Obviously, they go in order. Now, when you write the numbers, in least to greatest order, you must use the original numbers, okay? You will notice in my answer that I didn't put 9.750, or I didn't put 90.700, okay? You put the original numbers that you started with when you put them in least to greatest order. Okay? Always put the numbers you started with, the numbers that we had up there in black with our original problem. Now, obviously, how you show your work on this problem, this is problem number 18. Okay? Well, obviously, if I put 18 right there, there's our original numbers, here's our work, and then there's my answer. Okay? So, let me do that again. Here's the original problems. This would be your work. And then here, underneath that, would be your answers. Okay? So that's how you would do number 18 and the one similar to that in your homework. That's your, you know, your work, not homework. You're not going to have homework tonight. Lily? Sure can. Uh, excuse me. Misspell. Nobody said anything. Oh, uh, okay. That's when my that's when my brain that's when my brain was working faster than my hand, my pen could write. Okay. Occasionally I'll do that. Occasionally I'll, my brain will start working too fast and I'll try to write fast and still writing on a piece of glass is not as easy as it looks. Lily Darling. Do what? Can I scroll up? So you need stuff that's up above or down below? Like that? Okay. 
Okay? Now, I want you to do number four on your own. Do number four in your notes on your own. Use the original use the original numbers. A V? Yeah. A V for what? No, that's an R. It just looks like a V from your standpoint. Okay, do number four, right? Is that the one? Yes, number four. 